Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, I would love to have you guys join and subscribe. If you guys have been watching my videos, thank you guys so much for your support. In my videos, I share a lot of curriculum reviews. I do flip throughs. I like to share about our morning baskets, how I create our unit studies. And during this time of year, I share with you guys our curriculum choices. So I've already shared a really big video of my daughter's second grade curriculum choices and my kindergartners. And a lot of you guys wanted to see an in-depth look at like their math and language arts and science and history. So I'm working on it. I've done the language arts for my second grader and now I'm working on our math. So stay tuned for more coming and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get um, notifications when these videos are coming out. So let's get started and look at the K5 BJU work text. In the inside of the workbook, you can see that the spine is off of the binding, so you could easily tear the sheets off really easy. And they have lots of manipulatives for the kiddos to pop out. They're perforated, and there's a little clock that they're working on because they do talk about time. Here are the contents where they're going to be learning about classifying and sorting numbers 0 through 10, 11 through 9, numbers all the way up to 39 here. They're going to be doing addition to five, geometry, measurement, calendars, composing numbers, adding equal parts, um, numbers to 100, subtractions to six, geometry, time, addition and subtraction to 10, measurement, calendars, equal parts, and math review. Now, if you feel this book is too easy for your kindergartner and you have an older kindergartner, I would suggest... BJU Math Book 1 and I have a flip through already on that so I will link that down below. So right here um, it is going to be starting off with chapter 1, same and different, sorting by color. My son did this like a couple weeks ago, sort by size, sort by shape. Now this is really simple for him and he is turning 5 at the end of July. Um, I think He's a little advanced in math. He did a kindergarten spectrum workbook and it was a lot more advanced than this. So I feel like this might be too simple for him. But as the chapters progress in chapter six and seven, I think that's where he'll be learning new concepts. So they're just literally going through all of the numbers. I like how they do it because they have you trace it. They show the direction of the number. They show how many dots and then they show the number of ducks so everything's very visual very colorful and i really appreciated um, this book because my daughter did this in kindergarten and it was really really good for her after each chapter they do a review to make sure that what they learned they understand I remember this one from when my daughter was in kindergarten and we laminated this and they did this one over and over again so if there are any pages that your kids really like or if they need work on i would suggest making copies or laminating them and then they can do it over and over again with a dry erase marker but for some reason they really loved making those birthday candles so they're just going over all of the numbers in in these chapters um, chapter four they get into geometry so they're going to go over all of the shapes Chapter five, they're going to be comparing size and comparing weight and comparing capacity and height and length. So this is a really fun chapter. And then chapter six, we're going to be getting into 11 and 12. So I think this is where my son will be learning new things. Chapter seven, they're going over the um, order events, numbering the pictures in order. They're going to be introducing analog and digital clocks, and then in the front where the manipulatives are, you can go over that with them and practice. And then also in another chapter of this book, they go over time as well. So it's a spiral way of learning. They don't do it mastery like Matthew C. It's very spiral, and they review it at the end of the chapter. They review some of the things that they've learned before. So chapter 8, they're going to write and count 11 through 19. 20 through 25, 26 through 29, 30 through 32, 33 through 35, and so on. So this will be very, very good for him to review. Chapter 9, they're going to be doing very simple addition, and I like how they visually put out the little characters in each little like segment, and then they combine them together. And they have dots on here, so it's really, really nice the way they do it. They have Unifix cubes, so if you have any cubes at your house that you can use, you can do it with them, with the manipulatives. I just think that this is so cute how they do it. My daughter really, really liked this in kindergarten. 
chapter 10, they're going to be talking about calendars, days, and how to read a calendar. They're talking about yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And my kiddos love calendars because they see me planning a lot, so that'll be fun for him. And then chapter 11, they're doing money manipulatives, talking about numbers 0 through 10, drawing and adding. And they're doing the 10 frames with pennies, and then they do a little review. Chapter 12, they're doing sums to 6. Chapter 13, they're going to do introductory to fractions, which is so fun because they use lots of fun things like pizza and hot dogs and fruits. They're going to color the shape that has four equal parts. They're going to color the shapes that have equal parts. And they're going to draw a line from one dot to the other to make two equal parts. So it's really, really fun and simple, not too stressful. And this is just a very fun age to teach math. I had so much fun teaching my kindergartner, and I'm going to miss um, teaching kindergarten. This is um, going to be um, my last kiddo in kindergarten, so it's a little sad, but this is such a fun age to teach them. Okay, this is chapter 14. I keep on going on about that. Chapter 14, they're going to be doing numbers 40 through 49, 50 through 59, so they're going to go all the way up to 100. Chapter 15, they're going to begin subtraction, so they slowly progress minusing 1, and then they minus 2, so it gets like a little harder and harder each time, but I like the way they have these little cute like cartoons and characters on here. They're very, very cute, and they also have unifix cubes and they're visualizing subtracting this way so you can use your manipulatives if you have counting bears or unifix cubes or anything like paper clips, pretzels, chocolate chips, whatever. Um, it's a fun way to do subtraction in addition with your kids and then they're doing some review again. Chapter 16, they're talking about 2D and 3D shapes. And chapter 17, they get into time to the hour. writing times and they just do it by the hour they don't do anything else so it's very simple introducing them to to clocks chapter 18 they're going to add with larger add-ins they're going to be decomposing numbers and they visually give them a chart uh, so they could see nine plus one purple square equals ten eight pink ones plus two equal ten so i really like this i like the way that they have it um, set up decomposing more numbers with different colored squares subtracting with larger numbers finding missing parts of the equation and then they go over adding and subtracting and then they do a review chapter 19 it looks really fun they're going to be talking about temperature and lengths and height measuring and comparing. In chapter 21, they are going over equal parts, so they're introducing them to fractions, which is really always fun, especially when you're doing um, cupcakes and ice cream and cookies and pizza. The kids love that. So the last chapter, they always do a review of the whole book, so they're going to be going over counting 0 to 20. They're going to have them write numbers 1 through 10. So this is like a little test at the end to see if they understand and remember all the stuff that they've learned. Compare sets of objects. Adding. And I like how they don't have the word test on it. It's just another worksheet for them so they don't know. But you know that you're going to, they're going to be reviewing all the stuff that they learned in the book. 2D, 3D shapes. They're going to be composing shapes and making things out of the shapes here. Money and calendars and coins over here and then patterns. There are 320 pages in this math workbook so it's very easy for your kids to finish it before the end of the year. Um, my son has already done uh, 37 pages already and he just started using this workbook. We used it probably three times and maybe four. Um, so he's been going through it pretty quickly. I will link the link down below where I purchased it through my Amazon link and it got here relatively quickly and it was really inexpensive. If you guys don't have Amazon, you can also purchase it at the christianbookstore.com and then also Rainbow Resources. I'm pretty sure you can, um, but I will link my Amazon link so you guys can check it out. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.